everybody. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Janet. I'm the owner of Basic Organization. Lately, I've been doing videos on Wednesdays. Sorry, I missed Wednesday, so I'm, book, I'm doing this today. Um, but I'm going to continue our conversation that we've been having about paperwork. I've posted a couple of videos the last few weeks on how to manage your paperwork um, in your life. And today, I want to start the discussion about your archive files. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video that said there are really only two kinds of paperwork. The current paperwork that you're presently dealing with and then your archive paperwork, the stuff that you need to put in a file cabinet or a box or whatever for the just in case I ever need it. Um, so today I really want to talk about the, the products, the stuff you're going to need in order to set up an archive system if you haven't done it yet. But you may also learn a couple of um, tricks that um, maybe you have a system but you really don't feel it works for you. So, the, you know, some better options. So um, the first thing that I do when I meet with a client about paper, you know, we're looking at their at their area where they keep the paper and I always ask like what is working for you? What isn't working for you? A lot of people don't like file cabinets. They're never going to file that's okay. They or they wouldn't mind filing, but they just have a system that doesn't work for them. They want something that is faster and easier, which is definitely doable. There are so many different types of filing systems out there, and we can offer you some options. So, for the people who are kind of the everything out person, they don't want to file, um, but they want to be able to see the paperwork in front of them, um, uh, there's several options for different systems. So you can do kind of the basket option. If you have a horizontal surface, you can purchase small little containers, so kind of like an in-out box. Um, they could be individual or they certainly stack from any office supply company um, or a lot of places online. They can be very just functional and they're black plastic or they can be beautiful and maybe, you know, motivate you to keep your um, office clean. And um, that is really great if you have a lot of horizontal surface that you can deal with, um, that you can lay this paperwork out. And then you're just, for every single box, you're gonna have a category, um, whether it's your bank account, if you still receive paper bank account statements, if it's financial, if it's health, if it's school. Um, and you're gonna set up a system like that. For a lot of people that still like to have it out but maybe don't have the horizontal surface, in um, one of the last videos I showed you my wall system. So again, instead of horizontal, you can go vertical. And again, just have pocket folders that are up on your walls. Label the pockets so that you can put a, a type of paperwork in each pocket. Certainly makes it much easier to find than, than shuffling through piles of paper. Um, another thing you can use is a um, like a magazine holder. Um, this one I just throw catalogs into um, and they become old pretty quick so I, it's pretty easy to um, clean this out once in a while. But again, if you have some horizontal surface, you could use these. And again, this is a lot of times for a lot of people, it's much easier to just throw paperwork in uh, so, uh, something like this instead of trying to set up a file system. Now, if you're gonna be more traditional and you want a file system, um, you can, you should go, I would say should go, with hanging file folders as opposed to just using a manila folder. You want to use hanging file folders. Again, anywhere that sells office supplies will give you um, kind of the framework structure to hang these from if your file cabinet doesn't have them. I have an old file cabinet. Um, I, I have purchased those. They're very inexpensive and they make it so much easier to use these and these make it so much easier to file. So again, it's just um, a little, has a little glide on there on the sides. It makes it easier to move your file folders in and out. I also wanna show you inside, it has little um, spacers because the next thing you wanna get is these plastic tabs. Woo, let me show you, there you go. Um, I like the big ones, they're like three and a half inches long, which allows you to do, have three, sections 
on your folders. So that's where you put them in the little in the little holes. You stick the tabs in the little holes. Um, they also come with um, these white tabs, so you can break these off and label your tabs. That you have no idea how much time and energy this saves you by using a tab. If you want it to even look neater, which we love to do for clients, um, buy yourself a label maker. Um, uh, Brother P Touch is a very popular um, type of label maker. They make all different kinds, but the um, the the labels that are 0.47 inches wide are the ones that fit perfectly in these clear tabs. So it makes it look so great that maybe makes you want to file. Um, and um, so it's, it's just a way, a setting up a filing system is just a way of making it so much easier for you to deal with that paperwork. Now, one statistic, they say that 80% um, of what you put in your file cabinet, you never look at again. So um, it really be, uh, it really be thoughtful about what you're putting in there because you you know you you're gonna you're gonna put a bunch in there and then you're never gonna look at it again. Why are you keeping it? Why are you keeping it? But um, you know, but there are things that you do need to keep, and that is just fine. I do tell people that you mostly. Um, unless you're like a really prolific writer or something like that, um, um, you, you probably can have one file drawer and that's all you need. Um, that paperwork and information is digital so much now that you don't have to keep the piece of paper. You can um, find the information you need online so often that you don't need to keep that much paper. Um, so I would encourage you to really consider that. So I thanks for joining me. Next week I am really going to talk about the nitty gritty of a filing system for your archive paperwork. What you should keep, how long you should keep it, what type of items, and really what a filing system in a filing cabinet looks like. So if you really want to go that method or want to up your game with what you're doing now, um, join me next Wednesday. I look forward to it. Thank you. Bye.